Okay, I've asked Maisie to uh, go over some of our basic grooming implements. So what do you have here? Well, here I have a nice rubber curry comb, which is used in a circular motion on the horse first when you first start grooming to get off the real crusty dirt and bring other dirt that's underneath the hair up to the surface of the coat. Mm -hmm. Another version of the curry comb is nice, has nice soft bristles and it can be used on the sensitive areas of the face and legs. After the curry comb, I would use the dandy brush, which is a real stiff brush and again gets the dirt off quite well. Brings it up to the surface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I would follow with a nice soft brush, it's called, which is, has much softer bristle and can be used on the head and the legs as well as the rest of the body. And to kind of add a little finishing polish, I'd use this body brush, which has much shorter bristles and just really adds a nice gleam to the coat. Right, it certainly does. I also have here a comb, which can be used on both the mane and the tail. And here you can see a much shorter metal comb, which is used specifically for pulling manes and shortening the hair. Mm -hmm. um, finally, this is a hoof pick, which is used to get out the mud and rocks that might have been compacted in the bottom of the hoof. Horses, in general, like to be groomed, don't they? They do. It's kind it's of like a massage. A massage. And it, it's, a, it's a time that people can bond with their horse, too. So it's a, uh, it's a ritual that's done with horses. But these are the basic implements that are used and will get you uh, well on your way to grooming a horse. And now we're going to ask Maisie to actually show you how she uses the grooming tools and actually groom this horse a little bit for you. So I start off with the curry comb, which I'm going to use in a circular motion. And this just helps bring up some of the loose hair and dirt to the surface. And I don't go very far down on the legs because they're sensitive um, with the curry comb. And I'm careful as I'm rubbing him around the belly area because some horses are very sensitive there and don't like it very much. So after I have all the dirt loosened up, I start in with the dandy brush. I just vigorously brush him in the direction that the hair lies. And that kind of kicks up some of the dirt and hair. And then I follow with the soft brush which I can, because it's nice and soft, I can take down onto his legs and clean them up. Again, just get some of the dirt and hair that's left over. To notice how with each successive brush, brushing, um, you're getting more of the dirt away, you're getting more of the shine of the coat to appear. And I have to use a fair amount of elbow grease too um, to really get that dirt off. And then I'll finish off with the body brush, but especially with these short hairs that it has, I have to make sure that I keep cleaning it. So I'll just rub it against the curry comb. You can see that'll knock off any hairs or dirt that is stuck to the brush. Now you want to make sure, in a, particularly in a hospital situation, that you're only using um, the brushes that are assigned to that animal. In other words, you're not taking brushes and curry combs from one animal to another animal because you can transmit skin diseases that way. That would particularly upset a, a client in a, in a hospital situation. And also after that patient might go home, then you'd really want to wash, sterilize the, the, the brushes and curry combs that way. Then when you finish? I often then just go to his head and I'll take the soft brush again. And just being careful and not to go directly over his eyes, but I'll brush his face off. And if there's any dirt or gunk that's kind of gathered around his eyes or nostrils, I'll just wipe that off with a rag. His eyes are pretty clean. See how he really likes that? He, he like, they usually like the whole grooming process because it's a time that uh, they get massaged and touched all over, and it's a time that they can sort of commune with their with their owner, their, their groom. And so most of the horses really do appreciate it, don't they? Yes, and it's also time for me to really look over the horse carefully and make sure they don't have any little cuts that yeah, or anything. Yeah, something that might, you might not notice, notice otherwise. 
Now we're going to ask Maisie to show you her technique for cleaning the feet on a horse when she's grooming it. So I start standing at his shoulder and just run my hands down his leg and give him a squeeze on the back of the tendons, which he knows is the cue to pick up his foot. Then I just, this foot's pretty clean, but I would pick out any loose dirt or rocks that have stuck to his foot, being sure not to, you know, pry at his frog there. And when I set it down, I just try to set it down carefully, making sure I'm not underneath his foot. <laughs> Some that really like to set their feet down on top of your feet. Yes. So you need to be careful about that. Right. And for a hind leg, I make sure I'm standing nice and close to him, so in case he does kick, he can't get a whole lot of momentum. And again, I just run my hand down his leg so he knows where I am, give him a little squeeze on the back of his tendons, catch his foot. So just like with running the curry comb brush over the horse as she's doing this, she's also examining the foot, seeing that everything looks okay, the shoes are tight, um, everything as it should be. And notice as she sets that foot down, again, particularly in the back feet, you want to pay a lot of attention to the horse and see that um, you know, everything's ready for you to set it down and that you have yourself positioned properly. But that uh, pretty much goes through the grooming of this. And thank you very much, Maisie. And we'll go on to our next segment.